What I really love about choral music is that there's this kind of sense of community and that we're all humans up there and we're all using our voice, which is kind of the most personal instrument. It really feels like we can connect on a deeper level than uh, just something we hear on the radio. There's those moments I find as a music educator that I would I call them like my chill moments or they give you chills and and that's one of those things where it's almost impossible to describe but it's that combination of excitement and adrenaline and and passion and uh, musicality all kind of coming together uh, to connecting this circle of audience and performance. My name is Antone Eric Anderson. I go by Eric, and I am a bass in the chorale, and one of the original members of the Prairie Arts Chorale. I got involved with the Prairie Arts Chorale by seeing an ad in the local Marshall paper at that time calling for singers from the whole southwestern Minnesota area to try out for this new singing group. The Prairie Arts Chorale started in 1980, so 40 years that the Chorale has been in existence. The Prairie Arts Chorale is a regional group of adult singers from the southwest, west central part of the state of Minnesota, and it's an auditioned chorale from that area. We're always open to new members. We welcome new members. It's easy to do so. You just contact myself or someone in the chorale. Brandon Hurley grew up in Dawson, and now they've called him back to be the vocal music teacher. We're pretty excited because he brings this fresh view of music and all this energy that some of us old timers are <laughs> needed. So, Blue, you chew, go fat. You try it. So, Blue, you go fat. You're pros. You don't even. Need I hope that audience members walk away feeling that listening to a choir is something they would hopefully do again. In programming and planning for the choir in the upcoming season, I like to show the talents and the abilities of the singers with a wide variety of music and hope that when somebody comes to watch the Prairie Arts Chorale, they walk away thinking, this is an experience I'd love to see again. And this music making is something you can't just listen to on the radio. It's something you want to be a part of. There are not many opportunities for adults to sing in our rural area. I sang in college a lot, but after leaving college, there was no place to keep singing. Eventually, I was able to audition and join the Prairie Arts Chorale and it gave me an opportunity to sing again. We sing music about um, what we love, we sing music about what drives us and music about things we struggle with and I really think that dialogue and communication with the choir members itself and then singing that has kind of helped me grow as a person and how I teach as an educator and how I conduct as a director, all of those things kind of have helped build these blocks that I use every day in my career.
Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota, on the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com.